Welcome to the next session of Diabetes Education. We will be explaining how to test blood sugars using a finger poke and how to complete the diabetes home record to keep track of blood sugars and monitor for patterns of highs and lows. These blood sugar logs are the best way to track progress, monitor the plan of care, and communicate with our office. Let's begin with blood sugar testing. Blood sugar testing will take place before each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, before large snacks, at bedtime, at 2 a.m. for the first one to two weeks, anytime the blood sugar is less than 100 at bedtime, and several times per month to help with pattern management, with symptoms of low blood sugar and symptoms of high blood sugar. And depending on your child's schedule, you may also test after school, before recess, before getting on the school bus, before snacks, and activities. You will test on average six times per day. Now, Nurse Megan will show you how to test blood sugars. Wash and dry hands before testing. Remove the cap from the lancing device. Load sterile lancet into the lancing device, then put the cap on. Set the depth. This will determine how far the needle goes into the skin. Insert the test strip into the test strip port with the contact bars facing up. This turns on the glucose meter. Engage the lancet by pulling back on the lever. Poke the child's clean finger by holding the lancing device firmly against the finger. Press the release button. Squeeze the finger until a drop of blood appears. Look at the display screen. When it says to apply blood, apply the blood sample to the test strip. Read the blood glucose level on the display screen. The monitor will give a blood sugar number. If the blood sugar is less than 65 or less than 80 with symptoms, that is a low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. Blood sugars between 80 and 180 are in target range. Over 200 is a high blood sugar or hyperglycemia. Some additional information about blood sugar testing includes, blood sugar results will not always be in goal range. Fluctuating blood sugars are very normal. It's important to record blood sugar test results on the diabetes home record. This blood sugar log is the home tool that we use to adjust insulin doses. Blood sugars taken within one to two hours of eating will be elevated because the food is still being metabolized. They should not be used for pre-meal blood sugars. The most accurate blood glucose readings are two to three hours after a meal or snack. Therefore, it is important to not eat more frequently than every two to three hours and avoid a grazing pattern of eating, which is snacking continuously. Here's the blood sugar log that you'll be using at home. It's found in this blue binder that you'll get at the hospital. You will start to fill this form out in the hospital with the help of your nurse. You'll write in your pre-meal blood sugar dose before each meal, snack, and bedtime dose. I will show you how to complete the diabetes home record. Each month you will complete the top of the form listing your child's name, a primary phone number to reach a parent, child's date of birth, their age, and weight. Then ensure each section is current with the amount of insulin your child is getting at mealtime, which is bolus insulin. Complete the current insulin to carb ratio, the target, and correction factor on the top of the page. Coordinate the current month and date with the number on the left side of the page. Follow the date across and fill in the blood sugar readings before each meal, snack, and bedtime. The basal dose of Lantus, Basaglar, or Levomir will be in the center of the page. Next, fill in the blood sugars for each meal, snack, bedtime, and middle of the night. If there are any special notes, including blood sugars less than 70 or greater than 300, or if the child is ill, at a birthday party, or on vacation, list that information here. We will be in close communication with you the first month of diagnosis. Please send the blood sugar log sheet twice a week for the first month after diagnosis, one time a week until your two month appointment, one to two times a month thereafter unless you are seeing patterns of low or high blood sugars, a pattern of a low blood sugar is considered low over a full day or the same time of day two days in a row. A pattern of high blood sugars is blood sugars over 200 the same time of day three days in a row. 
please email the blood sugar log to pedsbglog at beaumont.org. This email is strictly for blood sugar logs only. It is not intended for pharmacy or supply refills or for general questions or making appointments. The email address is located at the top of the record. Please call our office if you have any questions about your child's care. Please keep in mind we get many blood sugar logs each day. As long as your child's dosing is included, we will get back to you within one to two business days. As a reminder, please call our office in the following situations. Before dosing if your child is experiencing low blood sugars, if your child is vomiting or has moderate to large ketones, or running low on insulin or supplies. Thank you, Megan, for explaining how to test blood sugars and use the blood sugar log. Our nurse specialist will be calling you between hospital discharge and your first appointment to review blood sugar numbers. Please keep your blood sugar log handy as this will be the best tool for your family to communicate with our clinic about blood sugars. Thank you for watching this educational vignette. Please continue with the next video in the series.